Well, hello there, Britain First. Yep, it's me again, Ashley Shaw, here to give you some lessons. So, where do I start? Well, I'll start with yesterday, because yesterday the, the good people of Britain turned out, at least 10,000 people turned out in London on a march, a rally against racism. And what did you do? What did you do? You sent a counter-demonstration. I mean, a counter-demonstration against racism. What the hell is that about? And what really, the really amusing bit of this, and this is, you are really the gift that keeps on giving, is that only 30 of you bothered to turn up. Now, there are millions of people that say that they like your page, but I don't see many of them turning out to your demonstrations. It's normally just the six of you idiots that turn up to people's towns time after time. But you managed to whip up 30 people yesterday against 10 thousand people who were welcoming refugees into this country and her standing firmly against racism so <laughs> i'm sorry but i mean just do the maths just do the maths oh i'm sorry you can't do the maths because you haven't got a brain cell between you have you but the maths here says 30 against 10,000. you are in the minority you are so so in the minority you might shout your hatred loudly but thankfully the good people of britain are starting to stand up and speak against the things that you speak for and that you say that you stand for and let's tackle that shall we you're busy telling people that you're not racist you're not racist you're only against islam yeah yet you turn up to counter protest and anti-racism an anti-racism anti rally now the thing that amused me most of all about the whole situation was that one you weren't even, you know, Paul, Jada, you weren't even allowed to attend. Or so you say. Apparently you had to go and sign some paperwork to say you were still around. Because the police, even the police don't like you. So, then what did you do? You started bragging about your 30 people demonstration against racism. And what did you say? You said 30 of you turned up against 10,000 left-wing bigots. Now, this is where you really do need some education as well, not only about Islam, but about what the word bigot means. So just bear with me while I put my glasses on, because I do need to read this. Well, first of all, I'm going to start with the, uh, the Cambridge Dictionary uh, definition of what a bigot is. And this is exactly what they say. A bigot is a person who has strong, unreasonable beliefs and does not like people who have different beliefs or a different way of life. A religious bigot, they give us an example, he was known to be a loud-mouthed, opinionated bigot. Sounds a bit like you. And if you're not happy with that definition, but that is obviously a British definition of what a bigot is, here's another one. This is by Marion Webster. And they say the simple definition of a bigot, I mean, it really should say <laughs> Paul Golding and Jada Franson, but it doesn't. It says, a person who strongly dislikes other people's ideas, etc., a person who hates or refuses to accept the members of a particular group, such as racial or a religious group. That's you. You are bigots because you stand against other religious groups. That's what a bigot means. You cannot call 10,000 people standing together for humanity bigots. <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. It's not in the dictionary and it doesn't make any sense. You see, the thing about bigots is that they're in the minority. Bigots are in the minority. As I said, the maths proves. So please stop talking your bullshit. Stop sending your minions with no brain. One, to intimidate people in their ta in towns and cities that you have no place being in, in the first place. And to stand against an anti-racism an anti-racism rally. What kind of fools do you think you are? The people of Britain stood up yesterday. There was only 10,000 of them, but not everybody can get to London because not everybody steals money off the people. I mean, and I've said this openly. You steal money off the people that send you money. What do you spend it on? You spend it on taking yourself round from town to town to town to humiliate and embarrass people. So you really have got to stop that because you don't speak for Britain. You don't speak for me, and by the numbers that turned out yesterday, proving yet again, you do not speak for Britain. Britain has never been fascist. Britain, ha I might not be able to say it, but Britain has never, ever been fascist. 
So you can keep your silly little ideas because every time that you turn up to something, you are proving time and time again that Britain has nothing to do with you. You don't hold British values. You hold bigoted values. And the good people of Britain who are proud to be multicultural stand up against that. And, oh, as a little reminder, little general thing, you might have blocked me. You might have sent round your heavy security. <laughs> but it isn't going to stop me. And I will have that face-to-face -face with you, Jada, because I'm going to be turning up at one of your little events. So I look forward to talking to you soon. And in the meantime, just remember, Britain is for everybody. Britain is for everybody, not just uneducated fools like you.